No, oh, okay. Well, anyway. Look. See? I don't know if it'll show up. Go wherever I put my foot. See? It's like putting my foot on a sponge and the water just gone through all my laundry. <laughs> it's all soaked in that bag. Cleaning. Oh my god. But you know what? I got my little fan. Battery operated. Helping out a little bit. What I'm seeing with this situation here, so it's noon hour. It's fascinating. I'm just, you know, taking this very slow. Thank God, everything. I do have one little dry spot, or dry enough. Pistachio. Um, on the bed. For the most part, so far that I know, I only got this one little piece of my, my uh, this one little edge fell off last night while I was sleeping. I knocked this pole over. And this, and my pillowcase on the ground and so the little edge got wet but fortunately it, it's not too much and it's pretty it's just damp now it's not like it's soaked <laughs> I mean look at it see it just I just finished wiping it up I don't know if you can see it a little streams and puddles. A lot of it just soaks right back down. Oh. Okay, so amazing, like this is an amazing situation because I've just been doing very ten, doing my regular little morning activities. You know, going online and checking Facebook and YouTube and just following a few people, see how things are unfolding, seeing what's happening in the neighborhood through being online because I'm still completely, I can't see out. Um, unbelievable. Well, that's okay. It's what is what it is. You know, when I first started doing this and I'm like, yeah, I'm soaking up all that water and it's just like more water keeps coming up. It's like a fat, thick sponge completely saturated underneath my, underneath the, huh. and it's natural, you know, wanting to panic wanting to judge myself, uh, da, 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 da. being pissed that this happened, what's wrong with me, hating myself, raging, I mean, I, I went going through all those things, but then I just like, okay, those are my pa old patterns, and, um, and they're there, those feelings coming up, coming up. But then I make a different choice. And that that's, thank God, for Facebook and, and YouTube. Because um, I have a lot of uh, um, content providers who offer some really good encouraging through astrology and Shar readings that I've been following for years and so these are people who I'm 
on a good wavelength with and it's like whatever they uploaded today was just like right on and um and forgiving myself without judging myself you know I've done everything that I could that I thought was the safest prudent and like I said had that storm stopped at four in the afternoon this wouldn't have been a problem but all of that water it it breached it breached the things um, you know my protection boundaries so so um, so anyway um, I'm happy though because it's a process and this is giving me time as I'm just little bit by little bit throwing away the garbage soaking up what whatever I can soak up just you know like I threw down all kinds of those black plastic bags thinking that <laughs> that didn't work so they're all wet but fortunately I can still use them because they weren't used on the inside so um but kind of wiping off the water and folding them up and everything was was one little job at a time um bag at a time bag lady whole new expression on that <laughs> um so but what this did was it gave me a chance to center with my with my regular little routines a little you know the way that I, I do my work fortunately like I said my food and most of my clothes and and the bedding and everything all are all okay now underneath I think they're soaked all of my um, foam pads they're like sponges I think they're all soaked up so uh, so I haven't been outside so the thing about this is just going about this slowly and kind of again organizing what to throw away see what needs to be taken care of what to be what to be um, fortified with more protection, what to salvage, and just to have this little, little bit of an open space is helping me think. So as I'm going through this process, little piece by little piece, um, yeah, I'm going to have to definitely uh, reach out for help. But going through this process is giving me the clarity what what type of help to ask for you know to see you know what I can do what again what can be salvaged and how um, how to given all the really all the threats I have in my environment, you know, to be able to safely navigate this transition. And top, top of that, not having any money, you know, really, that I can buy new equipment with or tents and what have you. So tomorrow's Martin Luther King Day. Most of the service places will be closed. Um, that I can typically ask for help from. So, uh, and then Tuesday, another rainstorm is supposed to come in. So right now I'm just, again, clearing up as much as I can clear up. Maybe tomorrow I'll 
step outside and then check the perimeters and see what I can do to prepare for Tuesday and then um, maybe I can find someone or someone will offer to help me with a, a ride um, <clears throat> to the laundromat to be able to dry out, wash and dry out a lot of the things. And then, just right now, with what I have, um, we'll see what else comes in. But, um, that's the plan with what I know and what I have in front of me and what the possibilities are, and then um, uh, either one or two things. Well, I'll see. I'll see tomorrow. Um, well, anyway, I'm going to have to just sit with it if I should just Again, lay low. Let the next storm on Tuesday pass through. You know, just I don't know. I have to sit with it. Actually, I'll have to take a look at things tomorrow and see what things are looking like tomorrow. You know, because I am thinking along the line of. I don't know yet because it's just every every option is going to be a lot of work and I'm going to need some help either get a new tent all together take this one down and then set up a like um, what do they call those things pallets those wooden pallets and set the tent on top of that and set the set the you know it's it's going to be a production so Okay, so in between, um, but first level of drying out and and um, sorting through. We'll see. Oh, nonetheless, this is—it's all a gift, and. Um, there's a lot of, I think there's a lot of good stuff that's going to come out of this, what they call dark blessings or the silver lining that's going to come out of this. Matter of fact, I feel very confident. And so it'll unfold. So anyway, Satna Vahiguru Chinakwich.